Today we are learning how you can upgrade your slides with three simple grids. Now the first one is the golden ratio and we'll look at how you can apply it to your slides. The golden ratio is based on the Fibonacci sequence and it represents a ratio of 1 over 1.618 which is aesthetically pleasing to the human eye and it's often used in design to bring balance and harmony. Now let's look at some real life examples. In visually pleasing images you'll often find that the Fibonacci sequence is used and this gives you an idea of where you can place your text for a PowerPoint presentation or a title slide. In this case it's the top right corner and if we remove the outlines we have a very balanced slide. Let's look at another example and draw the lines over it now to the other side. And this gives us a rough idea of where we should put our text in the top left in the 1.618 area of the image. Removing the lines and this gives us also a very balanced slide. Now maybe for a more realistic product scenario, let's make this slide. It's not a bad slide at all, but if we want to apply or if we want to make it more balanced, we want to apply the Fibonacci sequence. So let's draw them over and shift the objects around. And this way the subject really pops out and is the core of attention. And that's obviously what you want if you want to put emphasis on your product. Now let's look at an example with only text. And here we also see it's a, it's a good slide, it's balanced, but if we apply the Fibonacci sequence, it gives that little extra touch to the slide and it makes it just a little bit more balanced and professional. Another thing which I often see is that graphs and text are equally balanced. What I would do in this case is increase the graph so it applies to the 1.618 ratio of the Fibonacci sequence or of your slide and it gets the attention that it really deserves. Now let's look at rule number two, which is the rule of thirds and how to apply the rule of thirds in your presentation. This rule is often used by photographers and you can split your canvas in two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. And at the intersections, these are the focal points of attention where people look at first. Look at this picture and it's a very nice picture if you want to put it on the slide. But what I would do is apply the rule of thirds and then shift the image a little bit down so the horizon meets the bottom line of the rule of thirds. And that gives us an ideal spot for a title and everything looks just that little bit more balanced. Now this is also a very nice looking picture. But what I would do is I would draw the lines, the rule of thirds, and then make sure the center or the mass of your picture is positioned on that bottom line and that gives you a lot of room for a slogan. And since I'm not using any sponsors, I'll use the area myself. So if you like the video, make sure to subscribe. And this is another example of how you can use the rule of thirds, but for example, in a more vertical way. And I put some text on the left, which doesn't have to fit the boxes, but it can also be positioned on the lines and give a very nice balanced looking slide. There's a lot of possibilities with the rule of thirds. Let's look at the last tip, which is symmetry and how to balance your slides. You can divide your slides a few ways. The first one is, for example, a vertical one, where you get a left and a right side of the slide or you can divide it horizontally with a top and a bottom or in quadrants. This is an example where I divide it vertically with area for a picture on the right and some text on the left. A horizontal version would be that the image is at the bottom and the text is at the top of the slide. And the fourth one, which is the quadrants, you can do a lot and you can play around with uh, working with the four quadrants and having some balance on a slide and making sure everything looks good. So in summary, these are the three grids that I often use, the golden ratio, the rule of thirds and symmetry on your slides. If you use any others, make sure to let me know in the comments down below and thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you in the next video.